Hello parents and dancers, it's Miss Carly here. Today we are doing one of my favorite stories, The Runaway Bunny. Follow me. Hello dancers. First up, we are going to be making bunny ears. The materials that you need for bunny ears are Elmer's glue, three pieces of computer paper, a sturdy tape like duct tape or packing tape. Today I'm using Gorilla Tape. A sturdy headband. You don't want to use an elastic headband for this. You definitely want to make sure that it's good and sturdy and also nothing on it. That'll make it a lot easier to work with. Scissors. Always ask your parents for help with this part. And something to decorate your ears with. You can use colored pencils, markers. I'm going to be using a glitter foam that has the sticky backing. Let's get started. All right, first things first with these bunny ears, we are going to be drawing them with Elmer's glue. If you don't know how to draw bunny ears, they're pretty simple, um, but I've included a link to a free printable bunny ear pattern in the comments, so check that out if you don't feel like making up your own. These bunny ears can be as big as you like. I'm gonna start about three inches up from the bottom of the page, and I'm gonna draw my first bunny ear. It's kind of like a carrot shape. I'm gonna leave space over here. I'm gonna draw my next bunny ear nice and fat. Or like a big tropical leaf, maybe. All right, on the other side of the page, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna draw with my Elmer's glue the second ear. And if you notice the bottom of my ears are open, I'm gonna connect them with a little rectangular tab. And that's what we're going to use to attach the ears to the headband. So definitely make sure you have a little tab down there. And my bunny ears are done. Not perfect, but they don't have to be. I'm going to put a piece of computer paper over top what I've glued to match up the edges and then I'm going to use my finger to gently press down on what I've glued. So now your bunny ears are two layers and if you're not doing really tall bunny ears that is okay but if you are doing tall bunny ears like mine I like to do three layers it makes it a little bit sturdier. So the third layer we are really just going to trace over exactly what we did before. So this is a little bit easier than the first time. Making sure there's a nice line of glue and that it's not a broken line. And the other one too. And make sure I have that tab. And I add my third piece of paper over top. And once more, I'm gonna be gentle and press down with my finger on the part that I've glued and you can just feel it out. All right, and we are going to let that dry for about an hour, an hour and a half, which is a great time if you wanna fast forward to working on the fishing rod. Or if you're like me, you can practice some dancing skills. our bunny ears are dry, we are going to cut them out. Using your scissors, you're just gonna cut right outside of that dried glue line. That glue is gonna provide the stability for your ears to be able to stay up, nice and pointy like a bunny ear. I'm also making sure that I include that tab that I made in there, because that's the thing we're gonna use to wrap around the headband. Right, 
once those are cut out, we are going to make a little crease in the ears and that is gonna provide more stability for it to stay up too. So what I'm doing is I'm folding it longwise, like hot dog style. I'm just giving a nice little crease. I'm gonna stop pushing about halfway up the ear. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing for the other ear. I'm just gonna fold it hot dog style all the way and I'm just gonna push down and make a nice little crease in there. Again, going right about halfway up the ear all the way through the tab. Okay, now we've got our ears and we're going to add them to our headband. I'm gonna do one ear at a time. All right, taking my headband, let's see. I'm gonna get some tape ready too. I like to cut my tape out into little pre-cut pieces. Just makes it easier. This tape is particularly heavy duty. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little piece. And just sticking it on here to help myself out later. tap of my bunny ears I put my headband over top I'm going to I'm actually gonna play with these a little bit I'm gonna kind of push them together almost like I'm opening a book up so that crease is really predominant in there and I'm gonna keep that fold because I really like that to keep my ears looking happy so we're going to roll that tab up I've kept that crease in there, everything's nice and folded, and I'm going to add a piece of tape right here. And my next bunny ear, same deal. I'm really going to keep that fold in there, almost like I'm holding it like I would open up a book to read. Take that base, wrap it all the way up. It should touch the other part of the ear. If you see this is sort of folding funny, I'm just gonna push it open. And tape that. This one I'm going to start taping to my other ear so that they stick together. It really doesn't matter how you tape it because you can always cover it with decoration later. All right, I've got my bunny ears taped on, but now I want them to not slide around my base of my headband. So I am going to take another piece of tape and I'm just gonna do a little bit past the ear and tape it really to the headband. And another one. You can use as much tape as you need to until it feels secure. All right, and now I have my bunny ears. This is the fun part. You get to add decoration. You can color your ears, you can um, use markers, you can use stickers, pom-poms. Uh, definitely want to use light materials here uh, because adding any weight to this will just make them really floppy and you don't want that. These are nice sturdy ears. All right, I have one decorated right here. And now it's time to act out the runaway bunny. All right, for our second project, we are going to be making a fishing rod. The materials that you need for your fishing rod are sturdy tape. I'm using that Gorilla Tape. You can use duct tape, packing tape, anything that really sticks. A stick. I'm just reusing the dowel rod from one of my earlier crafts, but you can go outside and find a stick. Just make sure that you wipe it down first with a Clorox wipe. Scissors. Again, ask your parents for help with cutting. A piece of cardboard. You know I love to rip these off of Amazon packages. Something to mark with. A pencil, marker. Uh, this is a really nice Sharpie I like to use. Some kind of string. I'm using yarn here, but you can use any old string. You can also cut an old t-shirt into a strip if you'd like. 
And last but not least, something to decorate with. I am going to be painting today, but you could use markers or crayons or of course stickers if you want to decorate your fish. Let's get started. All right, dancers, next up we are going to make our fishing rod. First thing you want to do is cut your fishing line. I am using some yarn. I'm going to measure it about from the palm of my hand to my shoulder. It'll be about as long as my arm. Then using the tape, I'm going to attach it to my dowel rod here. I am just going to stick that right there. And then I'm gonna roll up the tape around the end of the stick. Okay, you've got your fishing rod and your fishing line and now all you need is your fish. To make the fish, I am going to draw my own pattern today. Uh, you know, I'm gonna start by having a bit of an upside down heart. Or maybe like those bunny ears we were drawing earlier. And then I'm gonna add a nice beautiful fin. And another fin up here. little guy down here. Maybe two little guys. And of course I would like some big fishy eyes. And a little smile. All right. Add a little bit of detail. And of course, you know my fish has got to have some scales. So we're gonna do some scales just little U-shapes. This is a really good one for kids to draw themselves. They can practice their letter U. And now we're going to color the fish. Today I am going to be using some paint here. Of course, you can use markers, crayons, colored pencils, whatever you like to use to color. All right, we're gonna speed this up a little bit. Now that our fish is dry, we cut it out. Voila, it's cut out. All right, now we are going to attach our fish to our fishing rod by using a little bit more of that tape. Probably don't need this big of a piece. I'm gonna cut it a little smaller and maybe I'll make it into the shape of a happy face. Flip it over. Stick on that tape. And voila, I have a fishing rod. 